We got a minute, and I have a minute. Hey, uh, you know, I've been looking. Some people told me the only way to really truly see something is is you can't make an assumption just by looking at something right off the rip. You can make an, a guesstimation, but there's something always behind, beyond the surface, okay? Um, and it's just like the structures. When I tell you that certain mountains are not mountains, those are structures melted and blown to pieces, the individual automatically dismisses, dismisses the notion and runs and says, he's crazy. And that's our whole point. That's your brain. It's been programmed to do that. You know, because when we're looking at the corporations, okay, this is not hard, all right? And, and um, certain ones around my geographical location, all right, I'm going to be nice, even to the damn dummies that are doing this to us, because I'm going to rip you in half in this one. It's funny how this goy right here can see everything that y'all are doing. And I can see how you set it up, too. That's crazy, ain't it? And y'all's own bloodlines can't even see it. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's, it's no different. Y'all leads or whoever you are, you got, the, you got just as dumb fucking children as we do. And you do, bloodlines. But anyways, when we're looking at corporations, it's like... Um, one way to um, the demographic, okay? When we're looking at this and people control this, and they do, okay? When we see it for what it is and we can see the corporations when they set up their plantations, plants. Plants are short for plantations. Yeah, it's the biggest breed that's ever been... ever on earth okay but what you do is let, let's throw the wars out that they create let's we're just going to look at the geographical location okay when you go in somewhere and you're the head honchos of this world and to most of y'all it's satan so satan okay can plant people wherever he wants okay and certain towns had certain plants you know or, or businesses huge ones but we'll say 60 per 70 percent of the town depended on that that entity that corporation okay and everybody's got the same monetary money too all right now We'll say that corporation's been there for 30 years, 40 years, which would be a long time this day and age. But, I mean, they've been there now. But we're talking about smaller towns. We're talking about towns that when you drive through, there's it takes a half a billion dollars to clean it up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, and your tax dollars do it. They don't. It's insane that you're, you're so ignorant that you just can't can put your finger on it so what they do is is they come in and in the initial beginning of a reset okay a couple generations in you know they're creating these plants you know or the or the factories whatever you want to call them and then they allow the the, the people to flourish and everything's good for a while you know you're going to have people that's very loyal to their job because that's all that's there and that's all they know. They get to take vacations and all that. But the corporation is not a single entity. It's all the same everywhere. It's all the same. It's very easy. It's very, it's very easy. It's stupid once I can think about it. And when they don't want a certain demographic, uh, or I'm sorry, a certain geographical location to prosper anymore, then they just stop it. They just stop it, and then they just say, well, they got bought out, or they moved, or burned, or whatever. Went out of business, bankrupt, those are all excuses. And yet, if it is a, a goy like me or you, if it's some stupid person that owns it, they'll bury it. They'll, they'll, or they'll buy it. The Jesuits will buy it out from you, and then they'll just end it. But that's what I'm saying, is if these corporations, 
you know, if we can follow the paper trail, we can find the money. Um, and then and, and you wouldn't be able to. But do you see what I mean? Because it's like where we live, the uh, bread company, the bread uh, warehouse, where they damn made bread for that city. They just took it down. Well, it's going to come out from south of that state now. What kind of sense does that make? What kind of sense does it make to buy something that was made way the fuck down the road? It doesn't at all. That's what I'm saying. That's one small example. Throw the bread away, but it's jobs. It's what we're saying, too. <coughs> so, when you want to stop, you know, people flourishing in a certain area, you just get rid of the corporation. You just get rid of whatever's helping them out. You know what I'm saying? And then it forces them, if they want the, the fancy life, they gotta go somewhere else. And then that location slowly decays just like a human anatomy. It slowly decays the same way. You know, the liquor was put in there and the alcohol and then eventually it becomes shit. That's what it becomes. And then they just start over. You know, and if some of y'all are watching this, I hope you're watching this. Somebody that doesn't know me. And you're very educated and you have a great career and you have a lot of money you'll look at it in a different way. Because see, the way I'm speaking right now, I'm a very intelligent, intelligent individual. To people that don't know me, they're like, he is speaking, well, he's crazy speaking, but he has a lot of intellectual talk within there. And see, I've learned how to be a character within this matrix of bullshit that we're in. You know, but it's not hard to see how they do it. It's very easy. It's just, it's, it's, it's insane because we know of two plants, you know, around us that, and I think it's in two different, is it in the same state? I can't remember. Shit, I'm looking at the speed limit. Yeah, we're good. We're flying. But, you know, you let it, you let the structure itself decay for decades, and then when people are so you know, desensitized to everything. Because, you know, people were probably upset. Because my whole point is, is generations would prosper. There would never, that it would still be there. If it's not there, it would be five blocks over, bigger. You know what I'm saying? Everything would be booming there. But they stopped it and then concentrated more somewhere else, wherever it was voted on in a board meeting. You know, some of y'all are on boards. You get to make decisions for companies and firms and whatever, you know. And, but you have to make that decision as a group. And then you're going to have one or two to uh, sign off on that shit. <laughs> I'm going to speak low and high nature. <laughs> and... Uh, And then it's uh, implemented. It's put into action. And then they give it time. And then it happens. <laughs> and it's crazy. I mean, you listen to me. Those of you out there that's really... And those of you that's dumb as shit, you got more of you in you than the ones with all the, the fancy shit, the money and all that. That ain't real. And you've been beat the shit out enough. You, you know, you're what they call crackheads and drunks and that's what I am. It should make sense. We 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 came from the in the middle of the damn hospital bed, <laughs> and uh, I'm not gonna speak religion. I'll be inclusive. What's inside of me had enough. Had enough of it. Nobody's reaching up to, to their higher power and my higher power. So that's enough. We're gonna get it going, and, and and I ain't asking questions, and that's why I'm allowed to speak the way I do. Because, see, what's going on inside of me and what comes out of me is actually a test to the goy. Come on, buddy, you're not over on that car. Ah, oh, damn! These people cannot drive. It's just a big test. That's all it is. Just one big test. 
you know, but I mean, the more you really think about it is, is, you know, these towns, um, the only resources they had getting started was the brands. It's the big brands you see now. So, I mean, it's a very close knit, you know, group that's doing this. And then when it started, then they started their concentration camp of raising children, mind control, with no consciousness to have more children, and then giving them, you know, uh, certain objectives to go to certain parts and to lie for their whole life. And to pretend that they worship a God that they really hate. And to look at you and to say, Jesus loves you and then kill you. And then at the funeral, be like, we don't question God. Matt, sorcery is not real. Yeah, no kid. For any one person to say it's not, that's sorcery. Because that's my whole point. You can't, your field of investigation and doing an inventory is just not there. You've been raised to say this, to learn. If you memorize this system, then you make a lot of money. And if you, damn, what was that? Somebody busted something. But the system is set up to where you just memorize shit. You just memorize the shit so you can pass that test. And then every three months it's updated so you got to go update your educational bullshit. You know, it's just nothing. It's, it's easy. Once you introduce sugars and, and modified tobaccos and alcohol and snacks into a, a group of individuals, over time, you're going to have hospitals. Yeah, hell, they don't know there's something else to eat. They don't even know. They're, hell, everywhere they look, there's a billboard saying, hey, it's refreshing. And then you have generational disease and sickness. It's gross, and, and you'll never not have a career because, you know, the next graduating class who's never been taught about how important water is at all and how what the human body's made of and the systems of the body and farming and smelling and senses and faculties, the sensorium organ, the occipital lobe, and how all that develops inside your entire existence. You know, and the ones that's against me, they cannot put it together that they have learned everything that they fucking know inside. Inside. You know, the faculty to see long distance is not there. It's common fucking sense, man. It really is, and people just cannot put it together. They just can't put their finger on it. They run from everything outside of the program that they're in. It is sick. Think about it. You get up, take pills, and watch TV, and check your gadget. Then we check that shit all day long, and then we go fuck off, have orgies with the world, whether it's money, sex, or, or want, or emotions that are not real. And then you get sick and go, oh, no, it's real, Matt. Listen, it's crazy. You can clean that battery terminal with, with Coca-Cola, but yet it's okay. Inside of you. And I know a lot of the doctors, um, not the ones that know me, but I, I, I'm not stupid. They know. They're like, you know, the only way we have a career is what they, what they eat. I mean, I, I know I'm not the, the only one that's like, dude, this is the most disgusting shit ever. This is how they give you sour heads as a child, and then now they're adults, and now they've got sour head fucking energy drinks. It's so mind control, it's not even funny. Anyways, I've said enough. I got a gizzo. Love you.